Well, here we are on YouTube. Glad you could join us. Glad you could check out our our new microphone system that we've okay, got going here. Just, would you move on? With, with... No, it's great. We got these great mics. We, you're super terrible happy about <laughs> yours. Terrible content, but great mics. Yeah, we, great we, we, we sound better, but our our content's the same garbage. <laughs> So what's going on today, Ryan? It reminds me of a scene from, of course, uh, my favorite franchise, uh, the Rocky franchise. There's a scene where Rocky is talking to Mickey, and they haven't seen each other in a little while. This is part two, and Rocky asks Mickey, the trainer, the old guy, he's got the earpiece in his ear, like a like it almost looks like this. It's white. And Rocky goes, eh, "What you got in the ear there?" And then Mickey goes, "Ah, it makes me hear stupid things better." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what our channel is people hear stupid things better okay um is uh, ali's asking do i have a new camera no this is actually just my setup right now is, is right in front of the window like the natural light of a window so that's why so i have literally natural sunlight come or daylight coming through so i have no light on in this room that's all natural lighting coming through so okay wow. all right wow. look at us nathan we are a couple of talking heads And that is what, for those at home trying to figure out why he said that, that's called a segue. Now, have you ever heard of the Talking Heads? I've heard of them, yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, I bet you there's a song or two that I'm like, oh, okay, that's Talking Heads. I feel heads. like we've yeah. done that on our channel, or I've done it on my first channel. I know I have a really... Go check out my first channel. If anyone wants to look at my first channel, just Google my name, and there's my first channel. <laughs> That's the, my first channel is just named after my name. It's named after me. <laughs> I think I named it Ryan Reacts or something like that. Something stupid. It's a stupid channel. Terrible mic. Terrible camera. Uh, anyways, so I've done a couple of songs. I know, and they were both live performances. I remember enjoying the live, so I haven't heard any studio stuff from them. <clears throat> funny enough, it was live performances I got, and of course there is one song that I only knew the song because of Gwen Stefani. She covered it, or no doubt covered it. Uh, it's my life, Don't okay. you forget. It's just I forgot how oh, it's called. Burning down the house. Yeah, I know that. Song. Oh, they oh they do that one. Well, there you go. Yeah. I was going to say they're probably one of those bands where I didn't know the name of the band that does that song. So they that's do. what I'm trying. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's yeah. What I'm okay. saying, yeah. All right, burning down. So you don't, have to, Richard. This is from Richard. You don't have to give us burn down the house. <laughs> we know that song. <laughs> well, this is the live performance. I know the I know the part that goes burning, burning down, down the house. house. Well, give us a or That's psycho killer. Oh yeah, psycho killer. Keska say, ba ba da ba da ba 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 da. <laughs> I think I've so played on a rock, I played on a rock band. Okay, so I know a couple oh, songs. Okay. All right, but this song Nathan is called "Life During Life Wartime." During wartime. Mm, Ooh, interesting. Jinx. All right. I'm going to bring up the lyrics while it goes live, so go ahead and hit play, and I'm going to read along. Oh, okay. Here we go. Just 
I love how there's like still lyrics. Yeah, they're like legit <laughs> lyrics. <It's> like, <laughs> I'm glad I had. Do you have the lyrics up? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm glad I did too because there's a lot going on here. Oh yeah. Um, and I, and I want to just I'm gonna use one of uh, Ellie's points here because I think I 100% agree. This is a very very distinct sound. Mm. Um, and from those other songs that we, uh like when in the chat that people brought up and said, Hey, what about this? What about this song? When I think of those songs, I'm like, Oh yeah, those are very unique sounding songs. Mm. Hard to really put them into a uh, genre. In fact, mm. I think they, yeah, it seems like that they're their own genre. If that makes sense. A little bit kind of ska, but not quite mm. a little bit like um, the police, but certainly not, exactly like the police it sure feels like yeah they, they've got their own style and and I, I i know that they've probably been very influential to other bands but i'm just curious if anyone else has like copied them you know what i mean like what's a copy band of the talking heads i can't think of one. Oh, oh i'm sure they've had a yeah a big influence hmm. uh, their last album so they've been <clears throat> obviously not doing stuff for a while. Their last album was 1988. So we were 13 when they Mm. stopped making music as a band. They probably have done some reunion shows and what have you, but they were, Mm. it's kind of cool. They had a, their uh, their bass player was a a female, which I always, I just love that kind of stuff because that was even not very common back then. No, to have that mixed. Like, let's be honest, mixed gender bands in general, aren't very common let alone mm-hmm. in the 70s. So that's really cool. And because I saw the picture of the band here and there she is, Tina. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I find that kind of stuff cool. So this is a, but they had how many albums here? They had uh, eight albums, looks like. So that's, you know, it's a good mm-hmm. little catalog. This is a band, I, every time I've listened to them so far, I'm like, ah, I like that. It's kind of fun. Um, mm-hmm. They just, like I said, they stopped making music when you and I were 13. So by the time you and I were like listening to music really on, like my son, you know, you mm. go on your own and start listening to music on your own, but beyond what your parents were listening to on the AIM radio in the car. Uh, mm. Yeah, like I don't, I just don't, I would never gravitate towards the talking heads, though. Of course, we need little songs burning down the house and because mm-hmm. uh, they were on the radio all the time. But yeah, this is fun. I like it. And I like the lyrics are clever. It's like this whole song was about, you know, it's like a movie, you know, they're blending mm. in and they're covert operations and i don't know what year the song was but i love the idea that they had computers like whatever it was they said like let's just say it yeah. came out on the latest album in 88 come on yeah. what kind of computers did you have <laughs> oh i can tell you oh yeah yeah back then it was like like mid 80s 30 megabyte hard drive wow <laughs> it was funny when I, yeah. I bought my first home computer when i was 20 two or three it was a buddy i worked with at a gas station and he built computers and oh, yeah. he, and he was like oh, i'll get you this hard drive all this stuff and i was like i remember i'll never forget nathan i remember tell, I like asking him this would have been 1999 you know 98 that's when i bought my yeah first, my own like when i owned a computer yeah yeah so the and he I, he told me about the space it had and at the time, I don't even, I can't even venture to guess in 98, 99 what the space or the hard drive space was. Yeah. yeah. But it was too much for me even then. I remember saying to him, like, why do I need all that space on my hard drive? That's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, it was probably like, probably 250 <clears throat> megabytes, seriously, or something like that. And he's oh, like, okay. he's a yeah. computer nerd, right? And he's yeah. like, no, you don't understand how much space you're going to need in the future. And now you're talking mm. about when you're doing your uh, your video work, you're like, 1.21 gigawatts. I, I have a 20 terabyte hard drive <laughs> for my videos, which is half full now. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, a yeah. fun song. I love it. Richard, always give us the fun stuff. You know, the stuff from the past. Mm. It's stuff during our lifetime, but still older stuff. Again, I think Richard is a little bit older than us. So this would have been in his wheelhouse during his time of youth. But yeah, so I like going back in time with Richard. This is fun. Mm-hmm. No, I, I I think I would be absolutely up for more talking. Oh heads. yeah, um, yeah. I would say Richard, like, give us some live just because stuff. we lived through the just because we lived through the eighties doesn't mean that we like know much about the eighties. We were we were a bit we're young for young. the eighties. Yeah, nineteen ninety um, hit. We turned fifteen. So yeah, yeah. Um, 
and so i'm i'm i'd be absolutely up for you know exploring more of of, of sounds from the 80s and especially absolutely. i think this this sounds like a great one to go down um because i think the songs are they're catchy they're they're fun they they're probably quite influential on other music and so yeah mm -hmm. i'd love to yeah explore more let's do it richard you're always giving us the good stuff thanks richard appreciate yeah, it thanks a lot yeah, it's been fun. Thanks for joining us here and uh, we hope to see you on a future reaction.